My name is Thomas Ackerman. I'm a founder of an art movement, of an art group, in a sense, called the Free Radicals. The Free Radicals. And I'm going to do a quick presentation with a few examples of the Free Radicals. And I will go into an explanation of the concept behind this group. And in principle, the work being produced that you see behind me is a small cross-section of what has already been submitted by approximately 12 artists at this point. And the idea of the Free Radicals is to expand into the hundreds, maybe even thousands of artists contributing work to the Free Radicals. And the concept of the Free Radicals is one of cooperation with other artists who have a distinct vision, a vision of their own, a statement of their own that is brought into the concept of the Free Radicals. And the Free Radicals is a cooperation. It is a unitive group. It is not, it is diverse as uh, you will see in some of the examples. And the Free Radicals want to draw in artists in all places on this planet on Earth. It's not centered where I am. I'm in my studio here in uh, Forest, Ontario. And this is a group. This is uh, an amalgam of many diverse artists, primarily painters. And here is the idea of the Free Radicals. It is based on a principle of producing a painting not necessarily by myself at a source, at another artist, but the free radicals take in work that is produced on a surface called polytarp, which is then transferred through a process that the free radicals that I have applied, discovered, invented, and all the art that you see has been put through this process of transferring the image off one surface to another surface. And the idea behind a show, like, it is not a group show in the sense of different artists producing work in some kind of context of a theme. The, the, a theme is irrelevant in this, although the artists of, what I call the artists of conscience producing paintings at this time, are concerned with the massive, massive destruction caused by the nuclear industry. I prefer to call them the nuclear crime syndicate that has produced hundreds of thousands of tons of waste from a process that boils water to make uh, steam, to drive steam turbines to create electricity. It is the dirtiest of dirtiest industries. It is hiding behind global warming and clean energy. It's neither clean or safe. It is the dirtiest, it is not cheap either. These plants cost billions of dollars and when they break, they cost hundreds of billions of dollars to clean up. So this is the artists that are drawn toward the free radicals. And I have gone through some of the work behind me in a, in a close up. I will do pics of the work that I have as a sample. There are many more. Uh, I have in my studio already and this movement of the free radicals is expanding. It is getting larger, it is drawing more artists, diverse artists from all over, all over from Europe, from uh, the Far East, from locally, people around me. And the idea, if you can imagine that once this work is uh, placed into a show exhibition space, people, imagine yourself that people walk in and they will say, this is very different, diverse art. It is an amalgam of different artists. It looks like there are many artists uh, in this exhibition. But why do all the paintings, the surfaces, look exactly the same? It is as though one person had actually produced all these paintings, but how could that be? Because it's so diverse and different. One painting is very distinct from another painting because these are people, artists, painters, that have a distinct vision and they're applying their vision to this process of the free radicals. And the free radicals want to create, uh, for periods of time, the idea of a free radical is to be placed into a community, whether it's 
uh, let's say in a major city like New York or Berlin or Rio, and set up for a period of three months or four months, draw artists into the group, 50, 60, 100, even more artists, put them through this process of producing work that looks exactly the same on the surface, but is completely diverse in the way it looks. And that is the principle of the free radicals. Conscious, con people of conscience attempting to change the direction that we're going in, and we're going to try and use the art to have an impact on the psyche, on the spirit of people that are interested in art, that feel art can make a contribution, and we want the major museums to take in, to take in this work and understand that it involves hundreds, maybe thousands of painters that are actually drawn together in this concept of the free radicals, in the way this work is produced, with, with the theory and idea behind it of unifying, unifying some vision at this point. We have been without a major vision in the arts since Warhol died, uh, since Warhol painted his soup cans, since Pollock painted his radical paintings. We have not had a unified vision, a movement coming forward, coming, coming forth to present a vision to a population that is hungry, that is looking for something that is actually going to change the direction of this incredible destruction that we are now facing on this planet. Through pollution, through all kinds of pollution, chemical pollution, you can come up with all the pollutions that you want, but primarily the pollution from the nuclear uh, criminal syndicate that is producing this waste that we have no clue what to do with. The dirtiest and the most toxic material ever, ever come come in contact with biological life on this planet. It has never happened before, and the free radicals have grown a conscience out of this understanding, what it is that we're facing, and like all great art in the past, it focused on the time, but more importantly, it wasn't ahead of its time from the point of view that others did not see what it is that was happening at this time, and the free radicals understand exactly what's happening right now, and are producing the art, are producing the art of this time. And I'd like to do this as an addendum or as a part two, which is part of the free radicals. And the free radicals don't only absorb other painters, other artists into their bosom, into our bosom. The free radical bosom is large, is expansive. But what the free radicals also have presented is a plan. And the plan is, since we are principles, we make art. We are not promoters of ourselves. We are looking, the free radicals are looking for people of conscience that are not necessarily artists, painters, but have an understanding of what it is that we're facing at this time and will dedicate some portion of their day, of their week, of their month, whatever, to actually making presentations that we, the free radicals, have compiled, like this, a video, to go to museums and make the proposals with cover letters and documentation of what it is we're trying to do and what it is we're doing, to take this work to the curators in a museum system that has not opened itself to what it is that we're talking about, particularly about the destruction, because art for art's sake, as Kandinsky said, is pure decoration. And we are more than decoration, and I will invoke Kandinsky from the point of view he talked about inner necessity, he talked about that which is a requirement of humanity, of a human being, what is required to satisfy a deeper necessity within us. And I, I am convinced the free radicals have in their concept understood this inner necessity. And the primary necessity is for the human species and all life on this planet to survive. We are now in an extinction event, a sixth extinction event, as scientists have called it. I say we are in an extinction level event based on the tragedy of Fukushima, the, the plant, the nuclear plant that blew up into three full core meltdowns. And we're asking people of conscience that aren't necessarily artists and painters to actually take these packages 
to, ho to, to show curators and museums to, per to make a proposal based on the package that we present, that we give to people, to take this out to the museum and be promoters for this large, very large group of artists. It's not just myself, and it is in cooperation with the Post Ignorance Project, Kevin Blanche, the, the Free Radicals, myself, Thomas Ackerman, and other artists that are principals with, on the ground floor of this movement to present this into the public domain through the museums, which are the houses. There are houses. The museums are the artists' houses, even though there is resistance and reluctance to look at this, because we are not presenting idiosyncrasies and vulgarities, which a lot of the art has now unfortunately become art for art's sake. Some quirky insight some artists may have, but has no relationship to anything else on the planet. Any other creature, especially human. So we are saying the free radicals are a radical break from what has been going on over the last 40 years, and we're presenting an alternative. Once upon a time, Hansel and Gretel were on the run, living in a trampled hell in a Berlin slum. Landscapes and horizons morphed into apocalyptic streets. The freeways lost their way. Gas stations dried up, and roadside diners were serving human flesh. The court jesters were waving at the passersby and the clowns were running the circuses into the ground. Dogs roamed the parliament buildings. The queens were all made of recycled plastic. Corporations, the new religions. Yves Saint Laurent dresses made with nuclear waste. The children got drunk on tragedies, and now... Free radicals destroy the good times and remind the court jesters of the nights before Columbus. We calling you a radical. Radical, 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 radical. Free radical walk. 
for Thomas Ackerman. Our mother, who art in heaven, cast out. Her soft hair tightly wound up, the human condition no match for the transhumans. The wreckage is still burning. The toxic boil left, not right, on the landscape and all the snow not able to cover up the misdeeds of the past imperfect. They now begin to peek out. The rubbish is showing its ugly face, and free radicals interface with the culturally bankrupt. Radiation roundup. The forest dwellers will save you, but all first must be undone, then reinvented, redistributed. Art thou an angel? No. Art. As a weapon. It pierces the soul, and a new language is born from the wasteland. The DNA blueprints left an impression, crystallized renditions of a future, unheard of atrocities too hard to comprehend for the humans, weakened by the information highways. A ship had landed on the beaches of our hourglass, and outside, the wasteland left to our own devices. Art beats a heartless world senseless. Free radicals separate the wheat from the chaff, and the black sheeps form an army of opposition. 
take back our castles from the feudalists. Free us. Live. Be. Free. <laughs>